energy vibration lesson for the cancer sun moon for the cancer so um i want to say thank you for being here it is a week of love this is your week you and the gemini's um carry the energy vibration of love okay so let's look and see what is happening for you cancers in this week this week is valentine's week happy valentine's thank you for being here thank you for being back please listen to your sun moon and rising sign and let's see what is happening um, in the suite this week begins from the 12 until the 18 and with all the energy that is here you are going to see changes that is coming in on Monday you have the Empress the Empress keep on coming in for a lot of people who have her um, and whatever is happening the Empress it comes up for a lot of people then you have the energy of justice so whatever that has transpired um, you have the energy of Empress and justice so um, you uh, your financial situation whatever that has transpired there's going to be a balance then you have the energy of the world that is coming up so this is good then you have the energy of three of ones you're leaving a situation behind because the energy of the world is ending a situation bringing forward um, positive situation in your life then you have the energy of the three of cups a lot of celebration um what is happening and then you have the energy of the princess of one so a lot of you who are coupled up with the princess of ones and um the king of uh, um sword the king of swords so king of swords wow okay so let's look at your reading because it's not it's really not a bad reading because there's a lot of and the princess of cups okay the princess of cups so this is going to be wonderful for you ladies between the ages of 25 and 45 it's um, wonderful this is good um, a wonderful situation that is going to be happening in for you princess of cups and I'm seeing you princess of cups coming in, in a lot of readings but there is a message for you guys because this whatever is happening in your life it's not about love it's about sex okay it's not about love it's all about sex and about what the other person can get from you because at the end of the day this person is going to leave you because you have been in a lot of other people sign relationship and it's all about you having relationships with other people this situation that is happening in this week you think that you have win the game but the game has not been win honey child because what is going to happen is that whoever and whatever is transpiring whoever and whatever is going to transpire um, for you ladies and I'm talking about the ladies between the ages of 18 and 25 or 25 to um, um, 45 you have to be careful what you're doing because you are playing a very a, a game that is going to leave you out in the cold okay for some of you it's gonna be a positive positive week um, for some of you your financial abundance is going to come to you whatever that is happening whatever that is transpiring you have the energy of justice and the energy of the world at situation so if you have a legal situation this is going to come to an end um, and you are going to leave a situation behind and move forward okay so whatever that is happening or whatever that is transpiring um, you need to understand that whatever that has uh, transpired in your life you need to have a sort of an energy that you're understanding that whatever you give out and whatever you think that you're doing and you're you are going to be you know you know having everything that you have in life be aware of what is going to happen to you beware of what is going to happen to you because um, you little girls keep on coming up in other people readings and you're in a relationship and you are the person who are on the side in relationship but sometimes things can come back to you so let's look for the general for everyone what is happening Monday is going to be wonderful because your financial situation is going to be balanced on Tuesday you have the energy of justice this is a wonderful positive energy with the energy of justice and then you have the energy of the world this is a wonderful positive energy um, justice and the world together the Empress justice and the world together the first three days of the week is going to be very positive for you cancers 
as we look at Thursday Thursday is going to be you leave in a situation behind you're ending a situation and um, there's going to be happiness and joy with a princess of wands okay um, I'm seeing that um, a lot of you are going to manipulate the princess of wands in um, not to believe certain things but you know she you know if women want men you know if you are a woman and you kind of have a feelings that your partner isn't being honest and your partner is pulling this thing over your face and you want to do it that's you um but be aware because <laughs> so let, let's look at the first um part of the week first part of the week you have the energy of the empress and you have a celebration and justice and this is good you now have the energy of um the um the four of pentacles i'm sure is the energy of the four of pentacles i've used this card four of pentacles so you have you know you're trying to balance out your financial situation and your materialistic world and this sort of a thing and you have the energy of um the four of pentacles and this is wonderful and this is good okay then in the middle of the week you have the energy of the ten of cups happiness with your family and that sort of a thing the world everything is opening up for you and this is going to be extremely wonderful for you and you know this is a time when you need to understand a certain situation um, you need to understand that um, life is full of surprises and sometimes you think you can pull the wool over people's eyes and yeah sometimes you get away with it so do it if uh, people wants to be a fool and uh, behave as if they're uh, you know and, and this is the strangest thing because I decided to do a relationship about um, and I think they're about relationships and that sort of a thing and then you or you know uh, people need to understand certain things it's happiness today but remember tomorrow um, energy of the princess of Pentacles energy of the princess of Pentacles so um, some of you will be leaving a situation behind the king of swords is coming at you the queen of Pentacles is here and you're no more um, you know you're there's someone new that is coming in your life you know um, I'm seeing that a lot of you men have a lot of ex extra relationships in your life you need to be very careful because um, especially the people who are married if you're married that means you have to work out a situation between you and um, and this person who you have married to okay so let's look at this balance um, there is a situation that is going to be happening for you cancers and it has to do with justice uh, there is a situation that is happening that you know this has to deal with you and justice okay so you know be aware of this eight of ones eight of ones information things are coming at you people information that sort of a thing is coming at you you have to be you know up on your toes and the energy of the moon so this is good and the, the, the you know the energy of the moon comes up it's as if your spirit guides and everyone is looking at you and said you know you need to look at yourself at what you were doing and what you have done you know it's as if you are on the honor roll um, and you know you, you, your guides and angels are saying to you look at look look at this situation because you know you're all up in the cloud but because we are magnetic to the hurt you can't stay up in the cloud all the time you're gonna fall and it your uh, and it's you know you're gonna fall out of the cloud so you know it's a it's a nice week but the end of the week the you know um, your conscious start to kick in at what you have done okay your conscience really start to kick in you can says at what you have done because you know you're you know you're bringing the wool over someone eyes and this woman is believing in you um, and she has all the faith in the world in you and you are just selling her something so be aware the energy of the princess of swords comes in whatever the situation is with the energy of this prince of swords he's gonna come in this has to do with you ending a situation and moving on and um, it's as if 
um, there is a, a situation with justice that is going to come in because what is happening and what is transpiring is that as um, there could be a separation and justice that is coming in um, for you and this and you know for people who are married if you're married to um, someone who is um, if you are married to someone who is a um, Aries Leo or Sagittarius the princess of sword the prince of sword is going to come in this prince of sword is coming from a legal system so they are going to start to look at certain situation um, with you and this relationship the energy of the devil is here and, and the energy of the devil is between you the energy of the devil is between you and this princess of wands the energy of the devil and the king of swords okay so the swords people are coming up because things and situation is there and the swords people are coming up this is a situation where um you know it's the devil advocate the devil the devil advocate there is a situation where this is the devil advocate and I'm receiving this energy for some men out there and some women if you have been married or in a relationship with the princess of ones this is with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius because she um, if you go back and listen to the reading for the um, Aries people they are in relationship with cancers because it's cancer Pisces or um, cancer Pisces of scorpion and what is happening and what is transpiring is that they found out that these people were having um, you know extra magisterial um, and you or you men are up in the cloud you men or women are up in the cloud be aware if you are married to a fire sign person be aware because the devil's advocate is going to play here now because obviously there is a situation that is transpiring and is happening and you are thinking that it is you are thinking that it is um, you know a wonderful happy family but it's as if your wife or your husband know exactly what you have been up to it is as if your wife or your husband know that something is happening and you are thinking that it is so perfect so wonderful and everything is just in order but she is not making you um, it's as if she is not really making you um, aware of this situation because she knows of the princess of cups you see you and the princess of cups thought that you guys have everything on the wraps and you know whoever this princess of cups is you have a relationship and an uh, out relationship with this young girl and you think that wow you guys have everything under control you guys just have everything under control and you think at home it's happy it's good it's it's carpathetic everything is going on but you have a very much of a surprise to, to receive because your wife or husband is aware of all this these affairs you have been having your wife or um, your wife or um, partner is aware of these relationships that you have been having and what is happening here and what is transpiring is that um, um, you are going to realize uh, because um, this week is like love is in the air and you're in like cloud nine and you and this princess of cups which can be a Scorpio or um, a Pisces Woo! Wow yeah because um, the other person you were seeing realized that you're just full of it and she walked away from you and you know you two are like yeah you know it's good but you have no idea what is coming up because your wife is aware of what is going on your wife has been aware of what is going on your wife is just playing it out because she's you know she is realizing that she has gotten herself in something and you know it's either she is bloody naive or she is just real stupid I'm sorry
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And you know, you and this is not for the women, the cancer women. This woman who is very naive is an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. And I don't think that she is naive. I think she's playing the naive part because maybe I, I think she, some of the people who are in relationships and some of the people, this lady, uh, I've been pregnant and this lady was pregnant and you know, the baby is young and this sort of a thing. And this is what is happening. So she's letting you have a whale of a time and a ball of a time because this is good. And this is wonderful because you think that everything is called pathetic, but, and, and this is only for the men, men and women that are having relationship with these fire sign people, because it's not really, um, what you think it is because a whole lot of information will be coming at you. You're thinking that it, everything is good, but um, whoever you are married to or in a relationship with, um, and, and this is someone, a woman, because this is obviously a message for a man out there who has been having extra marriage, extra marriage relationship and, um, extra marriage, marriage relationship you know and what is happening here and what is transpiring here is that um your wife is aware of what is going on she's aware but she is planning because you have to understand with fire people they don't just get up and do things they plan that shit and when they plan you're out of it so be aware this is just a message for the men who are married to these fire sign people these areas um, Leo or Sagittarius people be aware of what is happening because whatever that is happening or whatever that is transpiring your wife is aware of this and she's gonna get you she is gonna get you okay because you think that she loves you and she believes in you and everything but this woman has been realizing that certain things has been happening and this situation because she knows of uh, um, these people you have been seeing, she knows of the, the princess of pentacles, which, um, and she knows of the, um, cause it's so as if one let you go, then you choose another person. But for the rest of it, for all you wonderful, um, cancers, it's wonderful. The energy of the sun is coming out. Um, um, for the ladies, new love is going to come in your life for the ladies out there. Um, young ladies um, um, new love is going to come in your life so um, be happy for this this is going to be wonderful um, this new love and um, for you men out there especially over the age of 40 you're playing the field but um, be aware of what you're doing because there is something named karma and what you men are not aware of for whatever you do to your partner your wife or your girlfriend or whoever it's going to come back to your children and it's going to be they are going to get the um, the end of the stick okay so here we go oh my god this is coming up romance love this came up also for the Pisces and let's see what else is happening um, you guys get passion so it's a week for passion it is the week of Valentine's and it's just a week of passion um, the week of Valentine's is a wonderful wonderful positive energy because you have received passion and we're going to read and see what this passion is all about and it says the frequency of passion reminds us that beneath every intensive emotion lies the hidden gem of inside balance and calm it's access us in finding the balance within this intensity moving us from chaos to the calm of its care where we can let it no longer last and wisdom fill us up and this is good um number uh, number seven passion passion this is wonderful so um you can receive passion and you also receive the energy of romance love um new love is coming in for you guys frequency of romance love supports our journey um to feel whole and to um, complete through the experience with and reflection of conscious and the lovers okay so um, this is wonderful you guys are blessed to have um, two energies okay <clears throat> so um, what is happening now is, is um, the last card and the message that I have for you guys for Valentine's is when I accept accept 
the love of the universe as my primary teacher I will always be guided back to the light so um, this is wonderful because what this is teaching us is that when you accept the love of the universe when you learn to love yourself enough to say to someone till here and no further that is loving yourself this is saying I take back my energy I am not letting you walk over me I am not letting you cross certain borders with me till here and no further and this is good I want to say to you Kansas I'm wishing you a wonderful positive week Please remember, it's a week of love. It's your week. Enjoy. Namaste.